Welcome to a short learning dialogue on how mediums can be chosen for the content that we want to communicate. And for this, we have taken examples from our own course. Let us just begin without further ado. The first example we have chosen is of a screencast or something which is captured through a demonstration on a screen. If you recall, the discussion forum example that we had created for all of you to follow it was actually capturing the screen of Swayam and we were giving you examples about how to click, where to click. Now, this is not possible by doing a slide. This is not possible by me standing over here and telling you everything. This is also not possible in a podcast, but screencast is the appropriate example because it involves the actions to be shown on screen. Similarly, let us see the next example of a talking head. I am talking here to the camera and I have a plain simple background with no text, no other kind of uh, distractions here. This is simply when I want to communicate something which is emotionally connecting. So, if you look at the first video of the course where Professor Sridhar is explaining what is this course all about, what is the learner centric book model and so on and so forth. We have used only talking head. Very, very mild text uh, appears nearby, but mostly it is a talking head video and that is the reason because it is high on emotional connect. Okay. Let us see another example. Whenever we have to have multiple point of views coming in, okay, we go for interviews. Okay. The reason is if you recall the particular interview section where we had multiple instructors sitting together in a room and discussing about what are MOOCs and how MOOCs have been evolved. Because there are multiple ways in which it can be interpreted, we did not create a slide set or we did not have a single talking head here. Instead, we positioned cameras in the room where everyone was seen talking to each other. They were not talking to camera. However, they were covering all the points that the learners wanted to listen to. So, this is an example of how interview can be conducted with multiple camera setups. And the next example could be a podcast. You must have heard a podcast where there is no visual, but we have tried to incorporate uh, interaction by adding some technology layer to it. But audio was only for giving an example about something which does not involve any kind of visuals. The next example is of animation where we had a overlay or maybe a superimposed layer on the video shot for Dr. Jai Krishnan where he was explaining the timeline of how MOOCs have evolved over years. And that is an example of animation. Why was it required? Because it had extreme requirement of visualization. We wanted to say what happened in 2011 and what happened before that, who was the person, what was the course name and all that has to be visualized in a manner. And we also wanted the emotional connect where Dr. Jai Krishnan is looking at you and talking to you. Therefore, we use this combination of animation and the human talking head combined. We have PDFs which are uploaded, which are just text, nothing else. You just have to go through it and read about it and it has its own advantages as we have discussed earlier. All in all, you can see that the examples provided in the course itself are carefully curated by selecting a medium which can help communicate the content that we have decided for that particular learning dialogue. We expect all of you to kind of analyze your own content chunks, maybe what are small chunks that you can plan, but then come up with an idea about which of the medium could be suitable for this. We would probably discuss this in the forthcoming uh, learning experience interaction or the LXI that we talk about and maybe discuss it furthermore. Till then, thank you very much.